Dan Helley, Charlie Arnold here with you. And after episode five, Charlie, things starting to get a little bit spicy in the house. This is where we're going to break it all down. Yeah, and guess who's at the center of all the drama? Yep, Azael Rodriguez and his bed, actually, believe it or not. We also have three strikers who are now one step closer to that Power Slap Championship belt. And as always, two very special guests. Mr. One Punch, Reese Archer, is here. And Slap Jesus making the trip from Lake Tahoe. They will have stories to tell, I promise you that. So now all you have to do is sit back and relax because After Slap starts right now. Hello, hello, everybody. It is time for After Slap. I'm Charlie Arnold alongside Dan Helley, two very special guests in studio with us this week. One of the winners from this week's episode, Mr. Reese Archer. Does he need an introduction? He has been in such high demand. Michael Smith, a.k.a. Slap. Jesus. Hola. Gentlemen, how's it going? Great. How you feeling? Uh, like yeah, Jazzed uh, up after seeing that episode? A little hungry. Hungry? Hungry. 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 So... <laughs> you, you're you finally on the show. I mean, we've had five episodes. I mean, I I've been waiting me. for yeah. Slap Jesus you and, everybody and else. Reese to be here for five episodes. What the heck's taking you so long? I was waiting for a check. Oh. Yeah, so apparently it came. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's I always nice when the check clears, ago. huh? Always nice. Got to pay to play, man. You no, pay you to don't. Play. I'm free. I'm cheap. I'm easy. <laughs> okay, so one of the big... I think questions surrounding you, Slap Jesus, is how you got the name Slap Jesus. Well, we have a little bit of insight into how it all happened. Everybody watch this. What's up, After Slap family? I am Jewel Kid Diamond Scott. I'm here today to tell you how I named Slap Jesus. So we all hanging out, we all went out, stepped in a huge puddle of water, I did, splash. This fool walked across the water and slapped the fool. Pow! <laughs> oh my, that's epic. True this... story? Hell no. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, we went and did some medicals. Uh, we were sitting in the car talking shit. Like, you look like Jesus. You slapped Jesus. <laughs> that's it? That's was that, it. Was that's that Jewel, though, who said that to you? Yeah. Okay, I like the story better. Yeah, I know. I like the walking on water bit. I definitely like Jewel's story better. Yeah. <laughs> you should go with that. You should adopt that I mean, if he comes story. to Tahoe, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you walk across Tahoe, it's a different story than a little mud puddle. Yeah. But the fact that he gave you that, that nickname, it's the single greatest nickname in Slap Fight. Absolutely. Uh, it. It's a name that you could say has gone viral. And speaking of Reese going viral, <laughs> you had an incident with Nate Diaz, who we're all very familiar with, at an event... And uh, you actually committed one of the cardinal fouls of slap fighting. Super right here flinching. on our screen, look at that. <laughs> Emotions at you, you flinch, spill all of your stuff everywhere. What was this like, having this go viral? Uh, like, did it really help you get your name out there? What was your reaction to all this? Um, my reaction to this was more so like, I was, I'm new to all this stuff. You know, like if anybody don't know, this is all new for me, this whole lifestyle, so. I didn't really understand the context or the what was really happening, yeah. you know, until somebody was like, hey, you should just make a video. Everybody's talking about it already. It's like, they got posted to Dana White's page. It's too many views. You need to let people know it's you, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, all right, cool. Did it. And then I wasn't, I didn't know what it was going to go. I didn't expect it to be any, anything. For real. But once it did, what kind of reaction were you getting from people? Because was everyone noticing or recognizing you were like, oh, you were that guy from the video? Yeah, well... I ain't gonna say I was getting that with, at that first week, yeah, because I went to South Coast Plaza and it was people definitely looking at me like, that looks like the guy that was yeah. in the Nate Diaz video. And then we were Christmas shopping, so all that stuff was happening. Yeah, it was definitely weird. <laughs> so awesome. did people talked you into calling out Nate and basically calling out Dana yeah, White and saying, yeah. listen, I'll go. Yeah, Make it I, happen. I, I didn't I didn't do that on my own accord, no. I was definitely like, where's he at? What's that called? Coach? Yeah, coach, like, let's get that going. So I'm like, because I really took it personal what happened. It wasn't one of them things like I'm going to let it go and then me and Nate Diaz is cool later on in life. Like, no, nah, when I see Nate, it's going to be a uh, problem. Oh. What, what message, if you looked into this camera <laughs> right over here, what message would you, would you have for Nate Diaz right now? Get you some security. Keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> I'm on your ass. You could be shopping in the store with your daughter. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you when I see you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who you with? Who you with? He did not mince his words. <laughs> nah. 
Uh, he said what he why said. Why do I hope that Nate Diaz sees that so much? It I, would be great. I hope I he has pray. an answer. That would I, be amazing. I expect him. To, I, he hasn't yeah. been saying anything since it happened, so I don't expect him to respond. But if he does, if I, I if I was him, if he's a gangster, he's a street guy like they say he is, he'd keep his head on a swivel. Yeah. And next time, don't have the police with you. Uh, he won't, I'm, I have a feeling he won't have that much security next time you see him. But this is going to be interesting. We'll be following on social media. Yes, Hopefully, we will. Nate sees this viral part two. <laughs> you you you, uh, you had to survive three straight clubbing fouls Oof. in your fight against Nicholas Salkochi. How do how does one guy get three straight clubbing fouls? Was he that scared of you? I don't even know what was going on. Maybe. Maybe my energy was just too high up for him at that time because I was really kind of worried about Nikolai because mm -hmm. I, I've never slap fought before. He slapped a guy that's actually been slapping for a while and he slapped him to sleep with one slap. So I was like, I was curious to get my chin tested. And as you see, as you can see, I can take a hit. Well, you got your whole head tested. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hard head. Well, okay, so you're an MMA guy. Uh, you have experience taking big shots to the face. Would you say that taking a club is made easier by the fact that you've had some experience, uh, you know, with fighting in the past? Or, or is taking a club feel completely different? I think, I think, I think that's probably some of the hardest hits I didn't experience because I didn't do bare knuckle as well, you know, and that was kind of along the lines of how I felt when I went through that experience, you know, like where I was like, all right, I think I got hit, but I'm not too sure if I got hit, but I did see him pull his hand back, so I'm assuming I got hit. But I think my adrenaline was really high at the time, too, so I didn't really feel anything. So you think part of the adrenaline kind of soaks in some of what would be pain? Yeah, like, my my mind does a weird thing to where, like, I got a high pain tolerance. I already know that it's going to be pain, so I turn it off, and I don't feel the pain. You you ate all of those like it was nothing, and you just got fired up. You could see the adrenaline coursing yeah. through your veins. That's why I wanted to see you get that third opportunity at a slap you never got I it. I didn't get it. What would have happened? I think I would have dropped him because I was fired up. I was ready to go, man. I was really fired up, pumped. My hands was hurting, but I was definitely ready to deliver another slap. All right, Michael, you had to uh, you had to slap your way into the house. Yeah. Now through. I would have got in anyways. You seen what happened with Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I, have Jay no, Zeus. I have no doubt that Love you would have gotten in. After five episodes. Yeah. What's the best and what's the worst part about being in the house? Uh, fucking sober with a bunch of drunk idiots. <laughs> but it's kind of it's kind of helped you, right? Like not kind of be in the fray and mix uh, mix it up with some of the other guys. To this point, I would have took off on a lot of them. Yeah. So you think it's actually harder being sober in the house than no. if you? Oh, if, okay. I, if I was drunk, I would beat the shit out of a lot of them. So probably good because now you remain in the house, right? You might yeah. have been kicked out. No, I wouldn't have got kicked out. <laughs> I would just kick their ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, speaking of some ass kicking, uh, your second fight was versus Paul Teague. Uh, that was a back and forth affair, and yeah. uh, you know he got you pretty good. You were wobbling all over the place. Oh yeah. But then, what was it that came over you that then you were able to come back? collect yourself, and then deliver that knockout shot. Look at uh, this. I was yeah, to, you almost fell off the stage. Yeah, they had to grab you. I was trying to play it off, and then I lost my balance. My man. And then, uh, yeah, he had um, he turned his head on that one, and I only caught him with the tips. Uh, yeah, but then <laughs> down he goes. Yeah, everybody was talking shit, so I say, hold on, bitch. But, but, how do this shit. but, like, what is it like getting hit so hard, and then you're like, all right, I got to collect myself, it's keep my, my composure, and... It's my Deliver. Turn. Give me your best, I give you better. There's two things I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand why anybody would ever defer the coin toss, as we've seen a couple of times. Yeah, it's not they, football. I, we haven't seen them do right? that anymore. No. The, the, early on, Twice. early on, the guy did that first day. Ass and I. Yeah. yeah. Never People do that. Thought it might be also, I don't understand why you wouldn't take a measure and go on three every time. Good point. You go on one every time. Is it to catch them off guard? What's no, the mindset I just, there? I've always, uh, like, I used to slap people in front of their friends to get them to fight me. So I know where it's at. I'm so ready. is it more like you can measure with your eyes rather than having uh, to have that? I just got that precision. <laughs> that precision. What, here, here's the, uh, here's the Alex Asbury fight. Oh. And we saw the celebration uh, right beforehand. Um, hopefully we can see that again. What, what is, <gasps> there it is. What, what is that little celebration? What is that? I was just asking for the hand of God because it was black Jesus for slap Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> can we get a little demo? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. Where are we at? Hold on. Just tuck <laughs> that in yeah. your pocket. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah, I. I Here we go. Uh, oh. ah! <laughs> <laughs> did you wait? Did you come up with that on the spot or was that yeah, something that you like pre plotted?
Put it on the spot. All right. I, I, I do have to revisit one thing here. So you would just walk around to bars and I wouldn't know, just not walk around. Motherfuckers would be assholes all night. And, um, you know, they'd be asking for it, so I'd give it to them. Yeah. You'd slap them first before you'd fight them. Sometimes. Yeah. If, I didn't, if I didn't respect them, or I didn't like them, or, you know, they're showing off in front of their friends. It's almost that Nate Diaz. Was there any forewarning? Almost, but it's a Tahoe slap. It's okay. 5 3 <laughs> Was there any forewarning, or you would just go up to them and just slap no, them? No, I'm not going to slap somebody for no reason. What it look like? No, no, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a different time in your life. You're so you're sober, yeah. right? Like I so mean, that back then you I'm weren't always, necessarily I'm sober. I've always given necessary violence. You know, I'm a gentleman fighter. I don't hit a man when he's down. All right. You know, you say no more, you get no more. All right, well, Slap Jesus, people all over the internet are talking about you, uh, not just what you're able to do as far as slap fighting goes, but you're holier-than-thou present. So let's throw things over to our social media correspondent, Morgan Worth, to hear what people are talking about. Well, Charlie, earlier this season, I said a star is born, and as the season progresses, that star is only growing. Slap Jesus is quickly becoming a fan favorite because of his charming personality and devastating one wind-up power. The internet is loving him, so take a look for yourself. At Matt Phillips 22 said, when's the Power Slap merch coming? Slap Jesus t-shirts will be lit. Then VT2MI added, Slap Jesus is quick, definitely has some impact behind those slaps. And at Ryan Tremendous may be his biggest fan, saying Slap Jesus is my savior. And while (laughs) the internet is commenting positively, the numbers speak for themselves. Across Instagram and TikTok, Slap Jesus' infamous diaper weigh-in has reached 6.5 million views. And honestly, I'm not that surprised. It's very rare you see a grown man in a diaper. But (laughs) Slap Jesus, I do have a question for you. Have people started recognizing you since the show? Um, nah. (laughs) <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet is, is the better I, answer. I had a couple of fans come stalk me in Tahoe. Well, the star's <laughs> still growing. Oh, yeah. Um, um, okay, well, change. let's hold talk on, about hold something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what do you mean you had a couple of fans stalk you in Tahoe? Let's revisit that for a moment. Take what happened. I mean, I'm not hard to find. I go, um, there's not yeah, I, I feel like he probably makes his presence known wherever yeah. he goes, right? I would think so. I'll bring that little boom box. Where's my boom oh, box at, Reese? You left that <laughs> probably <laughs> best you left that behind. <laughs> Uh, Well, talking about something else that's growing, uh, the problems in the house because of one Azael Rodriguez. Let's strike a bell with you, fellas. Uh, There's been a ton of drama, but he also took the stage this week and had a fight of his own. So I got to ask, guys, was there anybody in the house that was not rooting for him to get his ass absolutely rocked up there? It was just me and Jesus. So... That was on the side. We were all his only cheerleaders for that fight. No. Yeah. <laughs> everybody else, Reese? Yeah, everybody else wanted to be my man. What, yep. what, what was the general consensus? Like, what were people saying? They were like, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, everybody was like, fuck that dude. It was like, that guy's sick. He's trash. <laughs> so, what was the reaction when he ended up winning? He got, well, it was one of them things, you know, it's like, uh, you get to write a passage under men, you know? He was like, all right, we got to see, we got to see, like, see what he really was about. He, he, he passed the test against Emmanuel, so we were like, all right. He earned my respect, for sure. You know, even after that, I was like, all right, maybe I can take, I kind of take the edge off, like let the pressure off of him a little bit. But he do some stupid shit. He got to put the pressure back on his ass again. Wrong. Well, we, we've seen, you know, you guys mix it up a little bit, and you get irritated with mm-hmm. him yeah. in the house. So the fact that he was able to earn your respect after all that's gone up down in the house, uh, that, that's pretty impressive. How irritating is it when he has about two bottles of Hallerhead in him? Man, I think as soon as he starts sipping and drinking anything is a problem for sure. Man, I don't know. I don't even think he really, by the time he even finished the bottle, the bottles, at that point, we were ready to do something to him because as soon as it starts kicking in, he's already transformed. Did he really pee the bed? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. The next morning, was everybody was rolling. We couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe when I woke up and heard he did it. <laughs> well, and then they were talking about him trying to take a different mattress. They're like, no, you have to take the one that smells like piss. <laughs> But I actually was on his side in that situation when that happened. I was like, leave ourselves alone. Let him have the bed because he's been in the house. Uh, the new guy came. I'm like, it's like prison. You oh. fresh meat. You know, like, dog, you got to earn your right. You can't just come in here and get a new bed. Also, first of all, can we just, I was like, let us say, oh, keep Can the we bed just focus on. on the fact that we have now compared the Power Slap house to prison? Yeah. That's a, I love yeah. it. It's a nut house. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like that. Slap Jesus. Okay, so we've already spoken about the fact that you're sober watching all of this transpire. What's it like when you're watching 
Azael act like a complete bonehead. He was just getting on my neck right there. So well, what was going through your mind? Were you about like ready to snap at some point? No, I was waiting for Reese to fuck him. You were like, let this guy be my... You were one of the guys who, like you said, you were one of two people who kind of rooted for him. We saw Jesus giving him the, the yeah. back rub a couple episodes Stoked ago. Him to sleep. You know, taking care of him. <laughs> yeah, however you want to put it. I'll let you I'll let I'll you describe love. it yeah. that way. <laughs> but I'm wondering, I'm wondering, Michael, for you, if to this point through five episodes, you've been sober in the house, it's kept you out of trouble. Yeah. Were things almost boring for you a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I fucking went manic after this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you didn't wait like a couple episodes. I'm gonna go crazy. It's gonna be good, huh? Real good. Or bad. The best is yet to come, baby. Good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> All at once. It's yet, gonna be good. When you, when you looked at what happened to Azael with the bed and everything that's gone down, were you, were you thinking, we should start taking it easy on him? No. Nah. No. Nah. That's what he gets. No. Nah. That ain't how life works. I, I don't, agree. I don't play like that. That's not how I look at shit. But I wasn't, oh. I wasn't fucking with none of his stuff. Um, but I, I'm not gonna get in the way either. He pissed people off. And, you gotta stand on that shit. You gotta reap what you sow. Yeah, when, exactly. when you watch the drama go down in the episodes uh, versus what it felt like living through it in the house, I mean, can you bridge that connection or was living through it tougher than watching it or vice versa? I think it's easier watching it. I was like, like once it like the last day and it's everything soaked in of what just happened, and I'm like, man, this is about to be on TV. So that's what happens. That's what I, that's the process I went through where I was like, man, it took two weeks for me to really kind of like. Except like, all right, it is what it is at this point. It ain't nothing I can, it ain't mm -hmm. even no sense of like crying over spilled milk because I can't do nothing. Okay, now what about the bed prank? Uh, because I know, Slap Jesus, you said you didn't touch any of his stuff, but what about that prank? I mean, it, it was all in good fun, but yeah. obviously had some animosity behind all of it at the end of the day. So was it fair or foul? No, it was fair. For sure, for sure fair. Even though I wasn't there or involved in when that happened, that that was definitely fair. It was interesting to watch the show with you guys and realize that not everybody knew what was going on <laughs> in the house at all times. You didn't even know exactly who did that, right? Yeah, and I didn't even know. It was, this, this is a couple scenes that, that happened in this episode. I definitely was not aware that it happened. You know, I didn't know that him and he got into it with this slapper dapper. You know, <laughs> I was like, what is going on in the house? I was like, I'm in here, I didn't even know. I had just went downstairs and went to sleep though. Right. So I tried to go to bed early, try to avoid the bullshit because the later people stay up. In the closet, drink. did you sleep in the closet? That's oh, yeah. true, nothing, right the what do they say? Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. Man, after 10 o'clock right, in, yeah, in the house. In the house, after 10 in the house, anything after 10 o'clock, it's all, it's all bad. I, I, <laughs> I know both of you guys are fathers and Michael, you've talked about how important uh, your kids are to you and how you're trying to be a better father. What's their reaction been so far to the show? Uh, they still hate me. <laughs> Do they like seeing you on TV? <laughs> no, they uh, they like it. Yeah. What, what are they saying? Uh, you know, they're whispering around uh, with their friends, and you know. I mean, you're you're a little mini celebrity now. Yeah. To, Always have been. To, to their to their friends. I mean, but it's elevated. Yeah. Once once you're on television, yeah, it's right? It's just with. it's it's yeah. It's a new whole new ball game for you. Whole yeah. new Has that changed anything or that... nope. Same old G. And how old are your kids exactly? Let's see, we got 19, 17, 15, 13. Oh, and two. oh those are some tough <laughs> ages right. too. And uh, my mini me's eleven. You're, okay, so you have your mini me, which a so lot of them. what is mini me <laughs> saying about you? Uh I don't know, not much. I haven't talked to him. Okay. Yeah. Um well, Reese, family is clearly very important to you as well. Uh, you actually had a chat about your family with your opponent, Nikolai, and this was in a deleted scene, which we actually have ready to go. So let's take a look. My dad done been in prison my, literally my whole life. He went to prison the day I was born. We talk on the phone a lot. I only seen him twice. Twice? Yeah, I seen him that one time at court when I went to court right before Corona, and then I seen him when I was 18. Worst experience I ever experienced in my life and I have to live my whole life without knowing what it's like to have a father. I was adopted at the age of six. Nobody knew who my dad was. I used to think my little brother dad was my dad. Found out who my dad was when I was 13 in juvenile. I was just so grateful to even know that I had a father at that time. And I'm 33 years old, I don't need a dad now, right? Yeah, right now it's too late. <laughs> yeah, all, all he could do is just be my friend. You're right. You know, if he even got out today, all he could do is just be my friend. He can't, he can't be my dad. Yeah, there's no relationship, and you didn't have it, and also, yeah. yeah. You know, I was robbed of a father, you know, I don't, that's just that part of my life that I never, ever have at the age of 33. I don't need a father at this point, I just need a friend, and 
that's all he can be to me. Like, he even told me to quit fighting. I'm like, I, I told him, like, don't you ever tell me that. You can't tell me that. You have no right to tell You're me right, yeah, to yeah. quit fighting. He wasn't here. You can't really say too much. All you can do is just listen. I don't think I should have been robbed of a father, you know? Nevertheless, my goal, hopefully from all this, man, I can get my dad out of prison, man. Sometimes the system works for the right people, sometimes it don't, you know? I guess it's just about how, how the cards get played. So, Reese, you obviously have been through a lot in your life. How would you say not having that father figure growing up really helped to shape you and who you are today? Oh, it didn't help at all. You know, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't, those are not the words I would use in that situation, I'm trying to describe that. Um, but I mean, look at you now. I mean, you seem like to be very ambitious. You have goals for yourself. Obviously, it didn't hold you back. Yeah, it was, I, it, it's not, it, it could have. You know, it's just one of them things you have to make a decision. As, you, as a person, I, and me, I just had to make a choice. You know, everybody has choices, you know, and de deciding to not deal with those emotions and not deal with that part of my life was a choice I decided for myself in order for myself to grow and move forward. I had to let that go. That was so raw mm -hmm. and emotional to watch. What's going through your head when you're watching yourself talk about your relationship with your father, a relationship you didn't have for a long time? Uh, I don't know, man, because I'll be in a lot of moments, so I don't ever really get to see myself, you know? It's different. And now you're a father, and you have the ability to be a father and a friend to your daughter. How important is that to you? Man, it's everything. That's everything. How has she been? reacting to this for you and this newfound stardom and life and this road that you've kind of carved out for yourself in slap fighting? She, she is really my biggest, my big, my biggest fan. She is. We just talked, you know, she's really happy for me. You know, the only person that's really happy for me in my life right now, you know, she's very proud of me. You know, I can feel it when she says it. You know, she just wants me to be happy. And it's so crazy having a kid She's that wants beautiful. their parents to be happy when it's not their job to want that, you know? So I just make sure I just be a good person. Yeah. Well, it seems like kind of she has the mentality when you win, she wins, right? Yeah, You're a team. For sure, yeah. It's definitely that attitude, for sure. It we is. Both a, win. We both win when I win. It, it is an unconditional love that, sure. that a child has for their parent. Did you talk? to other people in the house about your kids? Have you guys, did you guys Yeah, me and Jules story? shopped it up. Me and Mike, we talked <clears> a lot. You know, I talked with, uh, me and Chris talked. You know, anybody that ever, I talked to outside, I talked to everybody, anybody, I'm a guy, you know, I, I'm an open book, man. You, you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer it. I don't got no secrets, you know. I'm not ashamed of anything, you know. I'm not ashamed of my life or anything I've been through. Who are you with? For real. <laughs> you guys, we, we, should, we should have some fun. Listen, I, you know, listen, Reese, I gotta say, you know, you present yourself like a big, tough guy, which you are. Listen, you, you are. You are a big, tough guy, but I think it's so respectable when you are able to be vulnerable like that and open up, and especially about something as important as your family, because... Well, y'all caught me off guard today, man. No, <laughs> I really... No, respect. Very... Complete respect. Well, no, and by the way, it, it is... We, we see it on the show. We've seen it in here. You're not the first one to get emotional. Yeah, but you... I have been doing a very good job of keeping my shit under wraps, so it's just like I don't, you know, I'm very good at keeping myself tight, you know. You probably have to be in a lot of situations. Yeah, the still. word, the word I grow up in, you grow up with no parents, you don't grow up in no, you grow up with no parents, you don't got nobody. You know, this world is ugly, man. You know, when you don't got no resources, imagine not having no connections, not like being born into a world with no connections, no resources, absolutely being at the lowest of the lowest form in life you can be. And then this is where I'm at. And yeah. you look at the numbers and you look at the statistics, I'm not supposed to be here. Well, you're here. I'm yeah. And you use that adversity to, to do some big things. So we hope yeah. uh, we hope to see you accomplish everything that you want. Uh, but Dan, to your point, I think now it's time we lighten the mood a little bit, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah, for sure. Have a little fun. <laughs> uh, because there's a lot more that we want to know about both of you. Uh, so we have some questions that we'd like to ask. And they're a little all over the place. So um, let's start with you two as the younger versions of yourself. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were younger, when you grew up? Slap Jesus, you start. Where I'm at? Yeah, but you what, didn't know slap nah, fighting. I did, so you I think did. What you... I fucking, yeah. 
Get, get out of no. here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You want to be like a veterinarian or something. Nah, Come on. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a show man. I'm a dancing king. <laughs> so you knew you wanted to be an entertainer. Yeah. Okay. I mean, nothing's changed but the days. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I've been doing this. Oh. It's just we got cameras on me now. Born for the limelight. Reese, you? <laughs> I don't know how to even how to answer this. I'm, I, don't, I think I should not answer this. No, honestly. listen. I wanted, you wanted to, I wanted to be a pizza maker when a I was younger because I was fascinated yeah. with the flipping the dough. <laughs> yeah, but my, that's not what I wanted to do. What? My shit as a kid, I was like, I remember because it's funny y'all asked this question because I remember when I was a kid because when we was in school, this question I was in second grade and they was asking all the kids in class like, what did they want to be when they grow up? And all the kids was like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a police officer. I want to be a firefighter. <laughs> And I'm sitting here, I'm like, all oh, y'all sound stupid as hell. Like, that, none of that shit sounds appealing at all to me. And, and I'm thinking this at second grade, and I'm like, man, it, for, see me, I was different. I knew I was different, because I, I literally spent two weeks after that moment thinking about what I wanted to be. And I'm not gonna disclose what I want no, to do. No, you have to. Come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you got. Back on the I show. mean, there's, yeah. there's a lot of build up here. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we have you to right. go now. Well, I remember when I figured it out, man, it dawned on me like, like when you know you're a kid, you get excited about yeah. ideas and shit. <laughs> I, I like, I can't wait for you to, to spill on. it. Come so on. I'm like, I run into the house, I tell my adopted mom, I'm like, mama, mama, guess what? She's like, what, boy? I'm like, I know what I want to be when I grow up. She's like, what you want to be? I said, a drug dealer. Oh, my God. she tore my ass God. the fuck up. <laughs> she whooped my motherfucking ass. That's... Well, good for her. Good just, for her. Um, because as a kid, you don't know better. Yeah. Maybe she's but like, you maybe see what they have. Maybe prescription drugs, and he really wants to be a doctor. <laughs> no, I like my, uh, the area I grew up in, man, y'all, it's crazy. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. My kindergarten book the other day, um, I really wanted to be a farmer. And that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I could see that. You got to go up north to Grass Valley, just north of Tahoe. A lot of Been farming there, up yeah. there, right? I got a little girlfriend over there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I was to say, since we have been on set, I first slapped Jesus reference at least three women oh, who she, are his she girlfriend. Going the bus, One of them, in fact, just braided his hair before <laughs> he came in today. So, I, listen, I'm just glad I'm not your girlfriend because I would be... What do you living? mean? Woo, I'd snap. You got a boyfriend? I, yeah. <laughs> I, I do. Duh. This is not gonna. Yeah. This, this is yeah. not gonna end well. Yeah. Well. Slap Jesus. I mean, this is not gonna it's end not well. Gonna well for slap Jesus. All right, let's bring it back to. As you can tell, I, I, I'm obsessed with Lake Tahoe, oh where you live. I love that place. Let's hang out. It's great in the summer. It's great in the winter. So what do you do to keep I'll you put busy? Put the hoe in Tahoe, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> are you skiing? Are you snowboarding? Are you sledding? I don't really are you do. I don't got snow time. machines. What are you doing? I'm too broke to go skiing and snowboarding. Um, I'd love to. I'm going. I might go when I get back. Um, but yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm I like the summertime. Okay. Uh, boats and hoes dancing on the beach. Bo boats and hoes. <laughs> Are we surprised? Okay. Uh, moving to the next question. Wh who is your idol in the sports world? Idol. Yeah. Like, who do you look up to? Me. Yeah. You. You. Michael Jordan guy. No, someone me. in the MMA world. Yeah. Reese. Slap Jesus. Both of you. I like John Jones. That's my guy. It's coming okay, back, baby. That, we can't wait. Before my we can't wait. Fucking, uh, Idol is a big word, me. man. I would say I idolize myself. I only idolize me. What about a favorite, then? What about a favorite? Yeah, someone you my respect. Favorite, somebody I respect for but, sure is John. John Jones, for sure. He's John always Jones. Gonna, he's always going to have my respect because, because he he's not afraid of being who he is. He's not trying to pretend to be something that he's not. You know, if he, he fucks up, he fuck up, and it is what it is, and he's okay with that, and it's just, y'all have to be okay with that, right? And I've learned to be okay with my fuck ups, and I, I can recognize when somebody that's, like you said, I'm a bad guy trying to be good, and y'all should respect that. Oh, and after three years off, he's back. Yeah. I only, I, I, the only reason John Jones uh, I, I feel like we missed out on so much of John oh, Jones, yeah, we, right? We because of suspensions. And but there's nobody well, that that'll can be interesting with to see how he yeah. comes back. If anything, yeah. the UFC has spared the other guys on the roster. They have been spared by oh, not having John go. Jones' presence in the UFC. They wouldn't be able to do the shit that they're doing if well, he was there. Well, well, well John Jones we'll, has been bored. There's nobody's there that can give him what he wants. And that's why he's moving I'm up ready, heavyweight. Man. Cyril Gunn, go. it's going to be fun to watch. Shit. All right, yeah. one more quick hitter here. One guy in the house whose face you would love to slap off. Chris motherfucking Thomas. 
Boing. Ooh. Already did though now. Nah. <laughs> I actually was I would I would love to see that one. Yeah, <laughs> stay tuned, motherfucker. Because he was what he was our guest on the on the yeah. first episode. Yeah. Hi, and I Chris. think uh, he might have had the same response for stay you. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Keep watching. He wouldn't have been my first. I like he's he's a likable guy. Yeah, what about he's you, Reese? A little bitch. <laughs> well, you, what, what was the question you're asking about somebody slapping Who, would, who you, do you want to slap in yeah, the Yeah, you do. I mean, just slap their face clean off their head. You can foul on this one too if you want. <laughs> oh, with a foul? <laughs> if you want. You can club, you can step. Mm, Asayo. <laughs> yeah. Asayo? Mm hmm. Oz, okay, all right, that, that one seems a little bit predictable. Um, okay, well, UFC athletes, uh, speaking of which, they are eating up the slap content. So let's throw things back over to social media correspondent Morgan Worth to see what they're talking about. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, if Dana White is looking for a new right-hand man, he doesn't need to look any further. UFC lightweight Dan Hooker is all in on power slap. Since the beginning of this season, Dan has been following along and posting on social media, tweeting, Power Slap is my new favorite show. He even live reacted to Chris Thomas knocking out Waylon Frost. But most recently, he's revealed that his dream job would be a slap fight matchmaker, tweeting, I'll scout every worksite and pub in Australasia. We'll leave no stone unturned. Throughout the season, we've been talking about the massive social imprint Power Slap has had. And this just goes to show people are loving it beyond the United States. Power Slap has officially made it worldwide. Dan, how do we convince Dana to let Dan Hooker scout the talent for season two? Take me with him. I'm telling you, man. I, I, I was scrolling through Dan Hooker's Twitter, and he has almost as many tweets <laughs> about power slap as he does calling Islam out for uh, allegedly taking an IV after his last win. I mean, because well, it was like five straight. What does and that then say about how power exciting power slap is, He loves right? it. He loves it. What, when you guys see... Guys, you're watching on TV, UFC fighters, good UFC fighters, talking about what you guys are doing. What does that make you feel like? Man, I, I feel like, because, like, DC was there for my first match, and everybody was like, man, DC like you, man. He said he, you're, he's a fan of you, and I'm like, yeah, right, DC like me? I'm like, yeah, right. That's, that felt unreal. And then having Michael Bisbee walk in the room and acknowledge me without even looking at a paper and be like, you're Reese Archer, I know you. And I'm like, you don't know me. He said, I do know you. You're a researcher. And I'm like, dog, stop playing with me right now. This ain't real. You know, I've been watching you on TV for the last five years. There's no way you know who I am. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Well, That's I imagine great. that the reaction's going to only can grow to get bigger and bigger as the season goes on. And speaking of, we actually, we've got the inside scoop here. We've got a little sneak peek into what you can expect coming up on episode number six next week. You know what I'm talking about, boy? That's what I do to boys in this bitch. What boy? What boy? You want some more, little boy? My manhood, I feel like, is on the line of being tested by a boy. You know, I gotta stand there and I gotta be able to take whatever he's gonna. If I don't knock him out, I gotta be able to take whatever he got, and I'm ready for that. Chill, bro. Want some more? Want some more, little boy? Want some more, little boy? Why fuck? You're right, number six. You don't want to leave. You don't want to leave. I just feel like Kareem's that I was just like someone just talking. I'm a fing dog, dog. Like, I'm here to fing win the fing championship. So go in your room, go to sleep. If you come out of the room, you're being escorted to the hotel next to end. What? Yeah, I don't even I'm know. A dog, dog. <laughs> Security. How about those front kicks? <laughs> you more like a puppy. Oh my God. And you got involved. I mean, yeah, you had to go home for the oh night. Oh my God. I can't, wait. I can't wait for this episode. Oh yeah. my God. That was crazy. I was hoping they weren't going to show that. How hard, how hard was it for you not to just take his head off? Man, it was really, really hard because it would have been I'm easy. Trying to, yeah, it would have been easy if it wasn't the cameras and we wasn't in the environment that we were in because it's a bigger picture, right? Yep. So. The old me would have definitely... The mentality. Yeah, mentality. You so you, you, mentality. you showed a little self-restraint. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Well done. Um, you know who didn't show any self-restraint? Slap Jesus. <laughs> when Michael Bisping, a few months ago, we came to an event, <laughs> and he was having some fun in the back, and there's Bisping hitting some of the guys. This little love taps. Look at him. He's just tap. having... No, and shit! Then what you, the fuck? You, Did he slap? He, he slapped oh, Bisping. Yeah, that time. Double time. Yeah. Okay, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Slap Jesus. That was pretty cool. Was that? Yeah. Like that? 
That's what I'm talking about. He just smacked the whole yeah, table. Yeah, Mike back. You don't smack me. Mike my Mike, 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 Mike. Jesus, was that just a reaction? <laughs> yeah. Like, you just didn't even think about it? Bring that ass here, Mike. I mean, that's got to be a thrill, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sometimes I feel like we'd all, like all want to. I'm expecting to get slapped, bro. What? A bit. <laughs> I think everybody would like to do that but, to Michael Bisping. At some but nuts. listen to this. Actually, we have a little surprise for you, Slap yeah. Jesus, because the champ has a little message for you. Which one? All right, Slap Jesus, or should I call you Bitch Jesus? Because oh, what you did was a bitch Mike slap. Smith, bitch. Okay, you jumped me. You didn't let me know it was coming. If you ever see that again, Bitch Jesus, I'll make you look like a bitch on national TV. It's but all jokes Smith, aside, congratulations yes, on all your success so far, yes, my brother. Good luck with the rest of the show. Can't wait to see what you're going to do. Bitch <laughs> Jesus. Are we going to let Smith, that nickname bitch. stick around? It's Mike Smith, bitch. <laughs> that is so good. I have a feeling somebody's going to be calling you Bitch Jesus in your DMs. Oh, no, a lot of people call me Mike, bitch. It's Mike Smith, bitch. It's okay, Mike right. Smith, bitch. Get it right. Mike Smith. <laughs> well, you, guys, you guys ready to, to put oh, yeah. your hand in yeah, paint and sign the after slap uh, piece of yeah, art that we have created? I'll let you this off, right? Yeah. I need 10%. All right. Ah. Reese, why don't you come in first? All right, go. go. Are you right with your right hand? No, I'm right with my left. Okay, so put your right hand in the paint. All put right. your right hand in the paint. Just rub it around in there. Make sure you get it all over. And just pick a good spot up here. Well, all right. Good. Okay, okay. I remember doing this in preschool. There you go. Yeah, right? We're All throwing right. it back. Okay, we got that. That's good. Your okay. hands are a little bigger than they were in preschool, though, I, yeah, I'd yeah. imagine. Here you go. Here you go, Reese. You know, back when you wanted to be a, a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I was still contemplating. I knew I wanted a lot of money. I so think now you have money. I think now sense. you have some other uh, maybe goals in mind that could take you a bit further and yeah. probably keep you out of. That was a short brand you know, idea. Trouble. That was a little short brand. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you thinking about this signature right here? You've been practicing the autograph. Man, you know I'm not. I done drew this you? up. I've been drawing this my signature since I was like 13 in juvenile. Okay. And and Reese, how do you feel knowing that next week we get a real live look? At the fight that could have gone down between you and Azael. You weren't expecting that, you said. You thought they were going to cut that. Yeah, I thought it was going to cut that out. I wasn't really expecting So now it. what? Are you even more excited to watch next week, or are you scared? I'm more nervous. <laughs> more nervous. <laughs> oh, that, they have spliced it together nicely for next week. All right, Michael, come on over here. All right. Michael, why don't you sign it first? What do you want me to do? Let's sign it. Bitch Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Please. You can sign however you want, buddy. It's your world. Right. We are just living in it. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> Oh, he actually has a slap Jesus signature. Oh, not like wow, okay. 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 I hear you. All right. There you go. The right voice. in the goop. Right. Right Get in, the in there, bro. <laughs> hey, ladies, $100. Woo! <laughs> For a slap. All right, right on there that by ass. your name. On that oh. ass. $100 hand slap. Can I do it right there? Maybe uh, you get to take it off. Keep it off. Do it a little bit off the logo okay. so you can see it, you know, since the logo's blue, too. Oh, yeah, good press. Yeah, we're doing booty slaps for $100, uh, ladies. So, Slap Jesus, what about you? What's your mentality, like, knowing that, like, each week you don't know what edits you're going to get or, or where you're going to be featured or what you're going to have said or done? Does it make you nervous or excited? No, I was just on the, just talking to myself most of the time, like, hey, motherfuckers, stay tuned, here we go. They're like, this guy's got some problems. Hey, we, yeah. have, to, we guy, have some wet wipes for you guys? All out. the good shit happened and after two. If you want, we can save some of these for Azael next time he's on the show. Yeah, he doesn't need them. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. There we go. Uh, guys, yeah, Ozzie good L, work. Ozzie yeah. L's probably a little nervous after seeing that sneak peek as to uh, Slap, geez, how blocking, he acted. But the camera. what we love about oh, Power Slap Road to the title is every single week we get more and more excitement. It does not slow down. I don't see uh, it happening that way any week. Just speeds uh, up, Charlie. So, guys, okay. we're so excited to have had you on. Great conversation. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Thank Reese, you, for opening up. You guys were both incredible. And you can expect more Power Slap Road to the title next week, February 22nd. That'll go down at 10 o'clock Eastern and 10 o'clock Pacific. Then, of course, come right here afterwards on Rumble to hang with Dan and I for another episode of After Slap. So that's going to do it, everybody. What do we say? Thanks for watching. Slap Jesus. Reese. See you next week.